Hi again, everybody. Hi, Art. This is what uh, Art and I like to call Two Old Guys Save the World. We opine on everything. Because we talk about stuff. <laughs> important stuff. It's always important. Yeah. Mm. So, Art, I we've, we've been reviewing movies and TV shows, and uh, we've been talking about Amazon Prime and uh, all these services. I, I, I have a question for our viewers, all right? Please write in, let me know how many of these services can you afford? You know, they seem like they're free. We have Amazon Prime for the delivery service and we get the TV service right. free, quote, free, right? Two for one, whatever you want to call it. So it seems like it's free to us. And we're paying for Netflix. Now that's, that's I don't know what that is, 10 bucks a month a piece or whatever no, it is. That's a, a penny must be paying for it because it's, that hasn't been $10 a month for a long time. <laughs> well, it, it, you can see I don't write the checks. Right. But the real question is how many, uh, my daughter has uh, Disney and uh, Paramount and- but Probably Apple, she probably has Apple. Oh, oh yeah, she does yeah. have Apple to go with her Apple watch, yeah. Right. So, so actually, um, here, here's, here's an interesting phenomenon. Okay. I think uh, when we decided that we were going to do reviews, we wanted things where people could see them more often uh, 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 because they might have the service already. So Netflix has been around forever. We've had Netflix right. forever. Right. And yep. uh, so we have that. And uh, we, we got the uh, Prime Video. Uh, because we have the uh, Amazon delivery service Prime, sure, and so Same we here, got yeah. that. And uh, but uh, the interesting phenomenon is that there are people who are paying for streaming services that they haven't used in years. Look at all the ads that are on TV now about. Yeah. So if you uh, sign up with the Rocket Mortgage or whoever, there's an app that will track all of the. Uh, subscriptions that you're paying for over and over and over again, or that your ex-boyfriend is paying, is watching that you're paying for, and yeah. uh, saying, you know, you could be saving hundreds of dollars a year because, you know, uh, $5 here, $12 here, every month, it really adds up over a period of time. Automatic and, renewal will kill us all, yeah. Right. And the real, the real issue is that what's happened is, uh, uh, and it got accelerated yeah. with the pandemic, when a lot of people were watching at home, is that uh, these they, these uh, services started, many of them free, uh, and they didn't know where they were going to go, and then they started charging money for them. But how many services can you watch? Okay, you have broadcast TV, right. which is still free, although you're probably paying a fee for it because you're getting it through cable or satellite. Yep. So sure. you're paying for those, the broadcast TVs. Uh, uh, YouTube is free except for their premium service now. Uh, and they're going to have more and more things because they show, I think they're writing contracts for uh, uh, basketball that have football already. And I think yep. they're using that as a free promotion Thursday nights, but uh, which you can't see anyplace else. So yep. you're really right. Uh, how many can you watch? And I think what's going to happen is they're going to consolidate and implode. Uh, Paramount is one that we've never even considered buying, even though they have some interesting stuff on it. Because what happens is Paramount wants to get the most out of it anyway. So a year after you finish paying for it, they wind up on Netflix and you can start binge watching them on Netflix yep. and Amazon and sure. 12 other services for little sure. or no and, cost. And, and that's what happened with the new Matlock series. It started on Paramount and now we're watching it uh, on uh, CBS. Yeah. You know? So yeah, they they all sell their their movies to each other, mm. at some point or other, you know, because everybody needs the the product. But it's it's less for me about how many can you watch, than as a senior, mm. how, how many can how many can you afford to pay? Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it just gets ridiculous. You have to pick and choose what you want, what you really, what you really use. Yeah, what we've come down to in our household is that. Uh, Netflix uh, and Amazon, which probably comes out to about $15 a month each. So that's $30 a month. And yeah. uh, I don't know what Disney is. Uh, my wife puts it on her credit card, but we have it for uh, basically for the younger grandchildren. Yeah. And uh, who knows if we'll even keep that uh, once they get a little bit older and don't care about that content so much. Uh, 
Uh, and also, another thing that's happened is that uh, people used to share passwords and everybody's, all the services are cracking down on that right now. So that yeah. literally in a household, you can't have more than two people on at the same time. Yeah. Uh, and so if you give it to your grandkids and so on and so forth, somebody's going to get knocked off or somebody's going to get their cancel uh, 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 knocked off. Uh, people yeah. have been doing that with Apple and they're all getting more difficult. So you're going to basically have to choose which ones you want. And like John said, what are you willing to pay for it? Uh, uh, I guess uh, we haven't even thought of it and that turns into uh, this is a subject that, that John mentioned we should talk about. Uh, yeah. So we're probably paying about um, forty dollars a month for them. Wow! I'm, you know what? Buy an hour. If, okay, I'll call. I'll cut them off and then I'll see if Linda kills me. <laughs> yeah, if you're a senior on a fixed income, forty bucks a month can be mm. uh, a significant dollar figure. Right. Anyway, call us, write us, let us know what you think, which services you like, and why, and how many of them you've got. What your maybe what your uh, total cable budget is. It's a lot of money going into cable TV and streaming services. We'd like to know how it affects seniors. So until the next time when we stream another Gray Matters stuff that we're talking about show, thank you for visiting. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.